So we're finishing up uh, what is essentially the third unit of a 2,500 acre, roughly, burn that we did today. Um, 1,900 odd acre section and then a 450 and now this uh, 100 and change. Did, uh, did a lot of it. Um, with a helicopter, the 1900 acre unit we do with the helicopter. These smaller units were using the, uh, the UAV, the drone, and uh, doing the interior ignition with them after, uh, with it after we, uh, we put in the black um, on the downwind and then just kind of flew the drone, same as we do with the helicopter, and let it, uh, let it do the interior ignition. Uh, we put fire in off of uh, our lines which were um, roads and then uh, let it push back in here a couple hundred feet actually really favorable and uh, now we're doing the bulk of this 450 or so acre unit with uh, the interior ignition uh, with this drone this uh, dropping um, dragon egg balls and we'll see uh, if I can find it so and there's our kind of our spacing in here which is fairly wide but on the other hand um, we've got all kinds of black around us and uh, this should uh, should not be a problem and it beats uh, beats the crap out of walking around out here dragging a drip torch if you don't have to that is for sure and there it goes making another pass and those are probably 100 by 100 spacing maybe a little more Hey Gabe, just wondering what your status is on lighting this uh, kind of southern end of the unit off that we're working on. Yeah, we're currently packing and we'll be moving down that way shortly. Okay, so you're not going to fly anything south of Point Charlie uh, from your location now? So our That's correct. We're going to move down towards F and fly it from there. Our interior ignition lines have pulled together now in here. And uh, we're also getting, I think, a little indraft from, uh, from some other fire. And it's kind of heated stuff up in here considerably. And this, this wind is the indraft from the other fires um, pulling in mostly so we're uh, you know this kind of fire behavior on the interior is is perfectly fine we're you know 150 200 yards um, into the black here so none of this is uh, is a threat the only threat would be um, how much heat we're putting up into the canopy of some of these trees. Um, the fire whirl there, we're getting to where these, uh, these sections are coming together in here. Um, this has been burned often enough though that uh, once fire goes through it, um, it pretty much is, uh, uh, is out afterwards. You can see over here, not much uh, not much left of it, um, and that'll be 
the case in here, uh, it'll sweep through it pretty quickly. So we're working on, uh, for multiple resource objectives here today. Um, we have long leaf scattered around different plantings. Um, we have red cockaded woodpecker clusters in here and uh, some, uh, some quail habitat. So we've got a little bit of, of everything across uh, actually three different uh, entities. We have uh, Nature Conservancy, um, Department of Forestry, and Department of Wildlife Resource Property that uh, we kind of all wrap into one big one big burn project and that uh, I need to uh, need to do a, a segment on the the partnership and how all this works at some point but uh, not not right now <laughs>